nothing else is perfectly fine, especially the leaves that sometimes come on top. Okay, hey girl. Hey y'all, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to another video. This is my bunny Primrose. And today we're gonna to talk about some of the health benefits of celery. Before we get into it, I just want to say please like, subscribe, and comment. I will be responding to your comments, so I would love to hear what you think. And if you feed your bunnies any of the things I talk about today, it's just always great to hear from y'all. So thanks so much. Let's get into it. So a big question in the rabbit community is if celery is good for rabbits. It's a lot of back and forth about this, just about the way that celery is made up, um, what it has in it, etc. So is it good for your bunny? Is it bad for your bunny? Is it sugary like carrots? Because everyone thinks you should, you know, feed your rabbit carrots because that's like the lore of rabbits. And actually, Carrots are very sugary. So I wanted to debunk something about celery like we've debunked the situation about carrots. So can rabbits eat celery? The answer is yes, they can. Celery has a ton of amazing vitamins for rabbits and it is a low calorie, low sugar food, which is exactly what you want to give to your rabbits. It's a great source of vitamin A, vitamin C, potassium, and fiber, as well as having a lot of water in it. And so if you have a lot of water in the vegetables that you're giving your rabbits, it really, really helps with hydration. I've noticed that when I give my rabbits their veggies soaked in water, they actually drink less water out of their bowls um, because they're getting so much hydration from the water in their vegetables. Now, the reason celery gets a bad rap is because of the long strings that are in the stalks of celery. Now, many rabbit owners are afraid that these strings will cause blockages in your rabbit's digestive system. And while yes, this may be a concern, it really isn't a big issue because of how sharp your rabbit's teeth are. Rabbits can chew through almost anything. If you're a longtime rabbit owner, you would know that. They are capable of chewing through the stalks on celery. If you are concerned, however, you can always just chop up the celery and that will be much less of an issue. If you are concerned, however, of the celery stalks getting blocked in your rabbit system, you know, just chop it up and that's perfectly fine for them to eat. I will say, that you shouldn't give them this white part of the celery just because it doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. And you know, we humans don't even eat this part normally. So, but everything else is perfectly fine, especially the leaves that sometimes come on top. Okay, hey girl, you want some? Especially the celery leaves that come on top, those are wonderful for rabbits as well. Celery is a great low sugar choice. Now, when you think about rabbits, obviously you think about carrots, but carrots should actually be more in the vein of feeding your rabbits fruits. When you're feeding your rabbits fruits, you always wanna do it in a very small amount because of how sugary the fruits are. Well, carrots should probably be put in that category as well. They are very sugary, but celery is not. Celery is actually 95% water, which is amazing, like I said, for their hydration as well. So if you have a picky bunny that doesn't like to drink a lot of water, give them vegetables that are soaked in water so that they can just get all that hydration. It's very good for their system. So keeping your rabbit's diet balanced is a very tricky thing to really get a hold of. Every rabbit is different. The only thing you should be giving your rabbit constantly is hay. I mean, hay is just good in every way possible for a rabbit. They cannot get too much of it. It's got a ton of fiber for their digestive tract. It has a way of um, keeping their teeth short, you know, keeps their long front incisor teeth gnawed down so that they're not having overgrown teeth. A lot of people don't know that about hay because it's it doesn't seem very, you know, hard like wood or something like that. 
but hay really does keep your rabbit's teeth super healthy. And that's why it's so important to keep your rabbit eating hay as much as possible. Things like celery should be used as a snack and a snack only. It should not be ever substituted for a main meal. You wanna keep their digestive system and gut bacteria balanced. And like I said, this is a very difficult thing to do. It requires a lot of trial and error. It's just so much better for you too because you don't have to worry as much if your rabbit is in pain or struggling or having any sort of digestion problems as long as you get their um, health balanced. So here is our hay box. We use second cutting hay. It is in the middle of first and third cutting hay. I think it's great for all types of rabbits, even senior bunnies. Um, and it's just a free choice food. Like I said, it is part of um, keeping their digestion on track, keeping them away from GI stasis. If you ever think your bunny is going into GI stasis, only, only, only feed them hay. They should only be getting hay, no pellets, no vegetables, no fruits. This is what will help the stasis so much. And there will be another video on specifically GI stasis and what that does for your rabbit or more like, and what that does to your rabbit and how to prevent these things. Um, so we're really excited to get to those topics as soon as possible um, because GI stasis is such a big issue with rabbits and rabbit owners and many owners don't know what to do when their rabbit is going into stasis. So if we can start, you know, educating everyone here on how to reverse stasis as soon as you start seeing signs of it, it is really difficult to understand rabbit's behavior. It's difficult to understand when they're not feeling well or, you know, when something's going wrong. So if we can just educate each other as much as possible on things like this, all the better. I'm Sarah. If you want to follow us on Instagram, we are at PCP Buns. And please like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell if you like our videos. We love to hear from you. I will be responding to comments, I promise. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a nice day.